Google Analytics is a powerful free program to understand what people do on your website once they get there. In this video, I'm going to overview the very basics of Google Analytics, especially that left hand column and the vocabulary. Let's get started. As you start your journey into Google Analytics, it's important to have a good attitude. There's a lot of information in analytics. It's a typical Google product. It's really powerful. It's, it has tons of features. The user interface is a bit of a challenge. So let's cover some of the basics uh, and then let's go from the basics into more details. First up, let's make sure that you sign up for Google Analytics. It is a free product. If you're using WordPress, there are some wonderful plugins such as the Google Analytics by Munster Insights, or if you're going to use Google Tag Manager, then there's Duracell Tommy's plugin as well. Uh, I have a link here to the official help file, and there is even a free program which will analyze your website and make sure that you've correctly installed analytics on all of your web pages. Next, make sure that once you've installed it, right, and you start to think about what you're going to track, remember that there are certain features that Google doesn't track, certain things that Google doesn't track. So Google Analytics does not track your rank on Google for a keyword query. You're going to use need to use a tool like Rank Checker or Fat Rank or something like that to note that on your keyword worksheet each month. Google Analytics will not track your domain authority or your inbound links. Again, very important for your success at SEO. So you need to use a tool like Open Site Explorer or Ahrefs for that. And if you're a local business, Google doesn't count your reviews, how many you have on Google and Yelp in particular, and you want to track uh, those attributes. So these three attributes are very important to your metrics and they are not tracked in Google Analytics. Now once you get into analytics each month I recommend that you at least track your sessions, users, and goals for all users, organic traffic, paid traffic, and referral traffic. Okay, next let's go into the basic vocabulary of, of Google Analytics. And this is a little longer than my typical YouTube because it's pretty complicated. But we're going to go down that left column and I want to show you uh, some features of basic Google Analytics that people miss. So let me drag over uh, my Google Analytics and let's look at a couple features that people miss easily. So the left hand, or not left hand, my other left, the top right that's your time horizon, and you can change that to September, October, whatever. So you can have your time horizon. That's over here on the top right. People don't often miss that. The three dots are where Google magically hides the help function. So under these three cryptic dots, go to the help function. This is why I have an iPhone and not an Android. It's really user unfriendly three dots, help, and then you can type in what is the bounce rate. So typical Google product, there's a ton of information, it's very powerful, but uh, who in heck over there in Mountain View thinks that is logical to put the help file under the three dots? So three dots to help file, that's very important. And what was the other thing I wanted to show you? Oh yes, the Google Analytics Academy, Another kind of just unbelievable user interface um, design here. Uh, if you go and click on this little hat guy here, believe it or not, that is a hat. If you click on the little hat and then you click on Analytics Academy and then you scroll down to the hidden little bar here, you will end up on Google Analytics Academy, which is a fantastic free resource to learn Google Analytics. So that's hidden as well. So as we first get started, I wanted to show you those three features which are often commonly missed in Google Analytics.
Next, let's go down that left column and let's look at the audience group and we're going to look at the overview and I'm going to show you some of the features uh, that are very important. So let's go to this left hand column. So over here on the left, you'll see that we have audience, acquisition, behavior, and conversion. So audience is sort of what's going on with the people on my website, kind of just an overview. Acquisition answers the question, how did they get to my website? Behavior answers the question, what did they do once they landed on my website? And conversions answers the question, did they actually convert, like buy something or send in uh, a feedback form? Okay, so let's start with audience on the left. Let me get rid of that little guy there. So your audience, here's my time horizon. So this tells me, click on audience, click on overview. I ignore the dashboards, intelligence, real time. I don't think there's much use in that. Dashboards allows you to kind of create some simple metrics if you want to see those on login. So this tells me in the last month, I had 9,980 sessions. A session is a 30 minute uh, engagement. I had approximately 7,200 unique users, which generated about 30,000 page views. And I had a bounce rate of about 52%. Bounce is immediate entrance, immediate exit. Doesn't necessarily mean it's bad. It just means they came in. The, the only thing they did was they viewed one page. Okay. Now, let's continue on our left-hand side, our little tour here. So a couple things that are interesting, geo and then go to location. So what is the question that this answers? Hey, Bob, where am I getting my traffic from? I got 5,400 visits from the United States. I can drill in from the United States. I can drill into Texas where I had 542 views or uh, sessions uh, of which I had 123 from Houston answers the question where did my users come from okay now let's go to technology browser answers what question hey who's using Chrome who's using Edge who's using Firefox within Chrome what version are they using so my web design team can see what browsers are the most popular and what versions of the pop uh, of those are popular so always think at this left hand column sort of like you're playing jeopardy what is the question that should be asked that relates to the data so here's mobile overview what's the question how much traffic did i get from mobile devices so this tells me that in the last month of my 9980 total sessions about 80% came from the desktop, about 12% came from phones, about 6% came from tablets. Now let's say we want to know what's the most popular phone. I can click on devices and I can see the iPhone is 30% of that total. The iPad, the next, the Google Compute Engine, whatever that is, probably an Android phone, etc. So this answers the question, what phones are people using? User flow, let's click on that one. And that is, hey Google, draw me a pretty picture of how people flow from my website, from the United States into my website. And then I can click on any one of these pages and I can say highlight traffic through here. And I can see everyone who started on my tutorials page, where did they go to? And I can watch the flow. So that user flow just tells me sort of a visual picture of how people came through my website. Okay, so that is the audience group on the left. Okay, let's continue our little tour here and let's look at the acquisition group. So this answers questions as to how did people come to my website? How did they come to my website? So let's look at that tab there. Okay, so we're going to click on acquisition and then overview. So this is an overview to how people came to my website. Now, a little uh, semantics here. Direct means they typed jm-seo.org into the uh, browser. Organic search, they did a Google search, like you know SEO training Houston or something. Referral, they came from a blog. Social, they came from Twitter, Facebook, um, etc. Paid search, they came from advertising. Now, if I want to drill into one of these categories, like let's say I want to drill into my social. I can drill into social and I can see that in social media, my number one by far source of traffic is, guess what? YouTube. 
right? So YouTube is my number one source of traffic. You can also, I believe, go into YouTube and I think it might tell you the videos. No, it doesn't. So you can get some data there. So that's your traffic um, acquisition. Okay, if you're running AdWords, it will tell you what campaigns you're running on, and then within a campaign, it'll tell you the group, and it will even tell you the actual keywords that people are typing in, what are they seeing. So I can actually go into AdWords. This is one of the very best features of running AdWords is I can see what are the books, or the books, what are the keywords that people type into AdWords. It gives me good data there. Search Console, this is my uh, connection to Webmaster Tools. So if I've connected it to uh, my Search Console, then I have my Webmaster Tools in here. That's what that is. Social, that's the drilling into your social media. Campaigns, this is if you've set up any kind of a campaign using uh, what's called the Google URL Builder. So this left-hand column here on acquisition is all about answering the question, how did I acquire? How did they get that traffic to me? Here in the blog post that's connected to the YouTube, I have, again, a drill down kind of explaining uh, what that is, plus a link to things like the uh, Google Analytics URL Builder if you want to tag campaigns. Next, let's look at the behavior group, which is answering questions about what do people do when they land on your website. So we're going to click on behavior here on the left. And then we have behavior flow. This is another sort of like, hey, Google, draw me a picture of how they flow through my website, right? As if the first picture wasn't enough. Site content, this is asking the question, answering the question, what is the most popular page on this website? The most popular page is the free email alert page, right? Landing page, what is the first page that people touch? So the first page that people touch is this tutorials page. Now see this little doohickey here? You can click on that and it's going to open up the page in a browser window so that you can see that. Okay, now when that lands, if you get kind of this funky like, huh, we can't find that, that's because there's a little bug here. See that index.html? It doesn't quite work. I see this a lot with WordPress sites. So copy the URL and then open up a new browser tab and paste it. And so that's a good way to kind of get around that little bug. There are some bugs in the analytics platform, things that they could fix, but they haven't fixed. Uh, this is on my sort of rant about why I am never getting in a Google self-driving car because a lot of the T's don't get crossed and the I's do not get dotted in Google products. So you, if you click on this little uh, expansion and you're using WordPress, it will often break and not work because it's sending to the index.html file. So you have to copy that URL and then paste that URL into a browser window and that will tell you what is that landing page that, that they're getting to. So this is the workbooks landing page, okay? So that's what that's telling you. Exit page, these are the last page that they touched. Site speed, that's going to give you some information about how fast your website has been, and it will give you some suggestions to improve your speed. In page analytics, uh, this pretty much doesn't work anymore inside of Google Analytics. It's kind of annoying. It doesn't work. So I have a link instead to the Chrome plugin. So there's a little plugin, and this is really cool. Add this plugin to Chrome, and then when you turn that plugin on, what this allows you to do is go to your website and see how that says off up here in the top right? I can turn that on. And then it'll load, and then look at that. Is that not slick? I mean, you have to give Google credit, right? As much as I kind of criticize them for their self-driving cars, right? I mean, this tells you that from the home page, 4.9% of the people click to that link there. 17% of the people click on the home link. 3.4 go to login, and you can drill down. And so you can even drill down and say, well, how many people clicked on this books link? Are in the, oh, this is the free stuff link, rather. Let me go back to the books link. So you can go into the books links, and you can see, okay, 2.6% of the people who landed on the homepage landed here. And then people who landed here, 21% went into the social media book. 9.8% went to the social uh, SEO fitness workbook. So this 
plugin is really nifty to be able to browse your website and see the behavior. So it's really cool. They've kind of moved this into a Chrome plugin as opposed to being directly in Google Analytics. Pretty um, cool, amazing little plugin there. Finally, let's look at the conversions group. And this really answers the question around did people compete complete the goals of the website, such as buying something or sending in a sales inquiry. Now, goals you have to define. There's a different YouTube which explains how to define them. I also have the link to that, uh, a link here in this as well. But within analytics, you can go down here to conversions and then just, once you've turned on goals, right? So I can see here that in the last month, go to conversions, go to goals, I had 1,125 goal completions. And if I open this up, I can see here that under goals in the last month, I had 93 emails, 276 signups for the top 10 SEO webinar, 756 e-letter signups, and these two goals are broken. Oops. <laughs> I need to fix those goals. They're not being tracked correctly. That's what that is telling me. So that tells me, did they complete those forms? And I'm going to show you in another uh, video about how to deal with goals. Okay, let's wrap up what we learned. So first we just learned kind of the basics of Google Analytics. What it is and it isn't is it is a great program for learning how people get to your website and what they do. It is not good about telling you your rank, your domain authority, and your review count. Next, we went into the basic vocabulary. We learned the hidden features, the time horizon, the three dots that gets you to help, and the Google Analytics Academy. All are hidden features inside of Google Analytics, kind of little Easter eggs there. Then we looked at the Audience tab, the Behavior tab, and the Conversion tab, and drilled down on that left-hand column to see uh, what information is provided there. Remember, think about it kind of like Jeopardy. So when you're looking in analytics on this left-hand column, look at something like mobile and say, what is the question that this is answering? The question it's answering is, you know, hey, Bob, what percent of our traffic is coming from desktop versus the phone versus the tablet? So you want to look at the left-hand column and think of the question. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. There are two other videos on analytics which are really worth watching, so I hope you stick around and watch those as well.